starting off the new year with a reset. Happy New Year, guys. Happy 2024. It's still 2023 when I'm filming this, okay? 2024 is in two days, but I have to work on New Year's Eve and I have New Year's Day off. So I wanted to kind of get some things in order for when I walk into the new year. I'm gonna have a clean apartment. I'm gonna have groceries in my fridge and we're just gonna kind of like reset our brains a bit, pull it together. I feel like this year was full of so many ups and downs and a lot of stuff like behind the scenes for me. Um, but I really want to focus this year on not just goals, but just my overall day-to-day -day lifestyle. Like, I feel like that's the key with, like, doing anything, with getting goals done, like, with accomplishing things. And just, like, having a good day-to-day. -day. I feel like, I really just feel like things start in your day-to-day -day with your routines and, like, what your space is feeling like and the food you're putting in your body and the mindsets you kind of have throughout your days. And that's what I want to focus on this vlog. So we're starting off with coffee. <laughs> I haven't gotten coffee out and I, I honestly I think it's been like months. I don't go out for coffee I've nailed my at-home coffee routine I'm so upset this morning when I woke up and realized I have no coffee pods I have no iced coffee left. I have nothing in my fridge. I need to get things for the fridge Um, so I think I'm gonna take myself to a little local spot. There's this place called I think it's called holy cow it's like this little pink truck at the outlets and I We've always wanted to try it. I'm not too far from the outlet. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go there I'm not gonna go through a drive-thru. I'm not going to Starbucks or Dunkin. Not today I want to try something like a bit more Local I'm in the really weird mindset though between Christmas and New Year's where I'm like, what is going on? What day is it? I don't even know. This is the weirdest week ever. I don't know So we're going to head out also wearing a headband today. What do we think? Um, I never wear them But it's been kind of chilly in Florida and I had gotten them this summer I'm like, you know what? Figured I wear I wear a little headband, you know? If my camera starts flying around, I'm sorry. But it is actually one o'clock now, which is crazy. I spent the morning sleeping. I needed to sleep in. It's just been, like you guys know with hospitality, this December is nuts. Like November and December is just a whirlwind of busyness. So I was just very busy with work and Vlogmas and I feel like I have to now come back to myself. I always feel like this like, this time of year like it's time to reset of course we need to set the goals still i still have to do goals i still have to do a vision board i was talking to people who did it like a month or two ago which is probably really great for manifesting but like couldn't even i no no i'm doing it like january 1st 2024 like the first day of the month <laughs> i'm just in need of a reset a little life reset just hit the reset button so gonna start with coffee and then we're gonna trader joe's and it's just gonna be a good start to the day it is a saturday i have the day off which is very rare so i'm going to enjoy my saturday i have a feeling it's gonna be busy everywhere though welcome to it if you're new hi subscribe welcome to 2024 i have so many plans for my vlogs this year i've I have a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet. I don't even know how to use a spreadsheet. So we're learning things here, okay? Let's have a good, good start to the year. Even though it's not the new year yet. But what the fuck? Where has this year gone? I feel like I can't focus on anything right now because I have not had a coffee and it's like 1.30. I could not find a parking spot at the outlets it was crazy busy and then i was like okay where am i gonna go so i actually on the way to trader joe's there's this place called subculture coffee it's just like a place i don't know if it's all of florida i know it's west palm palm beach gardens like where trader joe's is like different parts of um like palm beach in florida um i don't know if it's all of florida but i'm going to subculture because i need a coffee Honestly, I'm like starting to get like, I can feel like I need to eat. I can feel like I need a coffee. Like I'm starting to get a little annoyed, a little cranky. So I'm gonna get myself a coffee here. Maybe a snack if it doesn't take too long. That's it, I'm gonna be quick in and out if I can though because I'm like, I, I have a feeling just, this area is so busy and I get very overwhelmed in like super busy areas like driving and I just get like annoyed because people are rude. <laughs> Trying not to go into 2024 with like negative energy. I just like just trying to be quick. Like I don't need to spend a ton of money. I don't need to spend a ton of time. I need to clean a little trash can. Oh, this looks so good. 
got my coffee. I got an ice white mocha with extra espresso. I got a banana loaf, a little piece of banana bread. It has cocoa in it. I'm very excited to try it. Cheers. I'm so happy right now to have a coffee. Oh, yes. Mmm. Fuck, I, need, I didn't grab a straw and I need to mix the bottom. What is at the bottom? Is that the white mocha? I don't know. I don't have a, I definitely don't have a straw in here. I forgot to get a straw, but it's too late. It's too late. And I knew I needed to eat because when you go grocery shopping hungry, like it's never good for anyone. Yourself, your bank account. Mm. Wow. Mm hmm So moist. Very cold. Good, very tasty though. We're heading to Trader's now. Cannot forget the reusable bags today. Very important. We just did a very good stock up on the groceries today. Can you see this? Oh boy. Maybe if I stand far away, it's not as noticeable. I don't know, but I'm gonna like fire off a little haul of all the things that I got at the store. I got quite a bit today. I just needed a full restock. So I'm just gonna like quickly go through everything. Just list it all off in no particular order. Oranges, Car Car, they're back. I've been looking for these for months. They're finally back at Trader Joe's. So happy about it. Strawberries, avocados. I've been craving avocado lately, so avocado. I got some flowers as well. I'm gonna put these in the vase in the bathroom because I've been putting the vase in the bathroom with flowers. Celery, spinach for smoothies, green grapes, broccoli. I got vegetable broth for like soups. I didn't get chicken or beef because I didn't know what kind of soup I wanted to make, so I just got like vegetable because it's very versatile. I got a bunch of protein bars. I got two of the RX breakfast bars i love these and then the bars we had in our stockings we really liked they're the power crunch so i got a vanilla triple fudge and then i got two where are they they're in this bag i got two of the peanut butter fudge to because i didn't get to try this one this was in tyron stocking so i want to try it and i know he liked it so i got two i got sourdough bananas rigatoni pasta this was the last one on the shelf i guess they hadn't like restocked it yet but i got the last brown sugar oat on the shelf i'm very excited very very excited about it half and half i like to use this in pastas as well as in soup depending on like what i'm making i got some tortillas i really want to make like like um not paninis but like different kinds of wraps and such like i want to try different things so got that parmesan cheese black beans minced garlic this is my favorite from trader joe's for the pasta sauce the roasted garlic marinara love this last thing in this bag is i just got like vanilla greek yogurt because i like i've been liking yogurt lately so i got some of that final bag here i'm like flying through this haul this is just like the meats and the frozen stuff eggs it's like three cheese blend cheddar what is this mozzarella monterey jack and cheddar chicken I got Italian sausage. I want to try this with different things. So I figure let's branch out, try some new things. Ground turkey, another chicken. We're pretty stocked up like for a while here. Ground beef. I got one of everything basically and two chickens. Then I got four butter chickens. Four of these because they're my favorite lazy meal from Trader Joe's. Samosas. And that's everything. I flew through that haul. That was a very quick haul. Nothing to really explain. Just a bunch of different things. Some some of the usual, so I'm gonna put this all away. I gotta do some laundry. I wanna put my sheets in the laundry and just kinda like tidy up my space a little bit. I have leftovers, so I don't think I'm gonna cook tonight. I'm still trying to decide, but I think I need to take this headband off. Like, look at it from the side. <laughs> God, I thought it was a look. Ooh, also, I wanna show you. I got um, my grandparents' Christmas gift in the mail. There's one other thing I wanted to get them. I've, I had a hard time deciding. I was either gonna make them a calendar or send them a digital picture frame, but they were all sold out. So I've been waiting for them to come back in stock. But let me show you what I got them like individually. Hold on, I, the, the gifts are the tripod right now. So I need to find a new tripod. All right, this one is for my grandmother. I, I'm trying to be careful. Oh, kind of weird packaging. It looks like a child's packaging, like a child's little gift. 
or something. But I got my grandmother. Look at this. It looks like it's like a children's toy. Oh, I am so excited. I could cry. <gasps> this is stunning. Look at, wow. <gasps> Look at this. I got my grandmother this teapot because growing up, she always used to drink tea when her and I would hang out. So I wanted to get her her own little like pretty teapot. Her favorite color is pink. It has these flowers on it. How pretty. Wow. Let me show you all together. How stunning is that? I will link this down below. Wow. And then for my grandfather, I don't even think I need to take this out. Oh no, I don't have to take it out of the box. You can see, holy shit, that's huge. I got him this grill set. It comes with like three different tools and it's sports themed. It's um, like we're from New England, so we're Patriots fans. Look how cool that is. It's like this like wooden handle. This is actually dope. Oh my God, that's all. Is that a bottle opener in the back? That's so funny. He loves beer. On these handles, there's like a bottle opener and he loves beer. So that's exciting. I didn't even know that, but it's like this three piece grill set with the Patriots engraved right on there. How nice is that? I will link these down below. My grandfather loves to cook. So I don't know. My family got him like them like a trip to I think the Bermuda, if I'm not mistaken, or I'm gonna put all these groceries away because they're like, it's like Tetris over here. It's like all stacked on each other weird. Everything's gonna like fall over. I need to put this away before I break something or something gets like ripped open on accident. Time for the weekly bed sheet clean. Sheets are off the bed. This is the last day with the Christmas blanket. Very sad, very sad. I can't believe the holidays are over. Just relaxing as in I was kind of napping I'm not gonna lie that's why my hair is like this I just needed a minute but the Sun is setting I ordered them on DoorDash I didn't feel like going I'm gonna start cleaning soon I was napping I have made food for myself dishwasher is on also you can probably hear it I'm sorry it is what it is uh, but I <laughs> made food for us time enough for work I went into the bedroom and I was just like nap time on a bed without sheets. But I got like a bunch of household things because it was overdue. I needed some random things. I got a, well, this isn't household. I got a coffee. I'm out of this recipes. I'm gonna order some today. Need some of those. So I got a coffee in the meantime. Poppy, wet cloth, like Swiffer refills so I can wipe the floors tonight. Got more dishwasher pods, because I'm almost out. These are the lemon scented ones. Dr. Bronner's body wash. I love this stuff. And then the last thing is just laundry detergent. And like I said, just some household things, nothing fun or exciting, but stuff I needed. But I was like, earlier I was going to go to Target after Trader Joe's, but I was like, no, we're going home. I'm over being around people. I'll order on DoorDash. We'll be well. So I'm going to open a poppy right now, and we are going to get to cleaning. Get this done early today because really I would like to do nothing more than lay in bed and read my book because I'm almost done with it. I've been reading the past two days since walk was ended, cleaning around the apartment, and then we're going to work our way into like a self-care evening, kind of like just mental prep for the new year. So I want to be done cleaning by, it's 5.30 right now, by 7.30. And then I'm gonna relax the rest of the night and we'll talk and stuff. That's the plan, do it. I'm gonna start in the kitchen because it's still light in here and it won't be like so dark as I'm cleaning because usually it's very dark when I clean in the kitchen. So it'll be nice to have like some natural light and then I'll work my way into the bedroom, put the sheets on the bed, do the bathroom, all of that.
These flowers were so pretty. I feel like they're kind of dying. Not completely yet, but I am gonna replace them because I got my sunflowers. Take these out. A good part of the stem. I don't know if it's weird or not to have flowers in the bathroom. I'm not sure, but I really like them. Make things just feel a bit more fresh and clean and good energy. These are stunning. How pretty. I'm gonna clean the bathroom and then I'm gonna shower and we're gonna get to writing and we're doing well. It's still early, 6.15, so it's still early. from Aldi's and I'm not a fan. I haven't had it in a really long time and I don't like it. it. Tastes too like nutty or something. I don't like it. But I do need to finish it off so I don't waste it. So we are chugging along here. My hair is a mess today but good morning. Another day of this vlog. I was gonna make this vlog only one day. It was like a few days before New Year's Eve. But I just was editing this vlog yesterday and I was like, I did not get to convey the feelings I felt <laughs> like coming into the new year. I was just like, I was in a very weird mindset that day. I feel like you can kind of tell. So I'm gonna continue the vlog here. It's January 2nd. Um, I have made the goals. I've done the whole thing, but I wanted to do a reflection still on last year i'm just gonna talk before going into new year's content i know this is going up already in the new year but it's like a week it's fine before i do anything for today i'm going to start by making breakfast i'm gonna make um like avocado toast with an egg and that's my plan i've been craving avocado lately and i had it yesterday and it was really good it is already noon also um the day is flying by i let myself sleep in today i didn't get really the time between christmas and new year's that everybody gets i didn't get that time between like christmas and new year's to really have time off after christmas i was back to work um and new year's eve i worked because you know i work in hospitality so Everybody was off except for us people, so I didn't really get the time to relax. So I used yesterday to relax and today because I have two days off. So I'm gonna just spend today relaxing. I don't know if I'm even gonna do that much. Maybe we'll just have like our little conversation and that'll be that. Oh, I am starting a running program today, a bit later. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. Just wanted to say hello and welcome to another day of it. Yeah, I really, for some reason, I was just like, when I was editing back this vlog, I was like, I, I didn't really talk. Like I, I spoke about like getting my space back in order and I spoke about getting my food in order and it's all good and well. But I just wanna also take you into like resetting my workouts and kind of my brain and recapping last year. And now that I've like kind of got the space in order, I cleaned up everything as you saw. It, I didn't vlog too much of it, but I did clean and I did a big haul for our food going into this year, so it's so nice. Entering the new year, like doing good habits, we're cooking, we're getting on our workout habits, like it just feels so good. And I'm taking it slow, like I'm not putting too much pressure on it, we're just taking it slow. So you'll see in my new year's goal video, we'll talk all about the goals, but. Like over medium eggs for Tyron. I never make these, so fingers crossed they come out good. It's so good. I'm so excited. All right, workout set is on. It's already 4.30. I've been on the laptop all day and in bed working. Uh, but I have my little outfit on. A little very basic black outfit. My little Hoka sneakers. This is the training plan I'm doing. It's just a beginner one with the Nike Run Club. And it's three runs this week. So I'm going to make a whole video dedicated to my four weeks of running. So I'll just update you here and there through the vlogs. But let's do it. I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why. But like the only way to start is to start and the only way I'm gonna like 
do it is if I like slowly am doing it, if I'm slowly holding myself accountable. Small runs, small goals to reach the bigger goals for the year. January 2nd, here we go. Math. My face is so red. <laughs> I feel like I did well. I'm proud of myself for even doing it. I only walked for like a minute and a half. And then I stayed a steady pace of like 5 to 5.5 speed. I think I did well. I need to work on my breathing for sure. My breathing is not the greatest. And also I need to figure out this app because I guess I was supposed to download something and then I never did. So for the next run, I have to make sure to download the guided run. So really this time I just ran for 20 minutes like aimlessly. For the second run, I'll actually download it. I, I fucked up, but I could, couldn't get connection in the gym. Like it wasn't connecting, so I couldn't download it there. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm here. I'm just gonna run. So now my legs hurt and I feel like Bambi. So probably not gonna run tomorrow, but maybe the next day. Cause it's only three runs this week. So I just pick three days and then I run. That's, that's what we're doing, but I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna make some dinner. Everything I'm using to make dinner tonight, pasta sauce, pasta, Italian sausage, green pepper, onion, cheese, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, Old Bay, Cajun, salt pepper, and then some half and half. I never cook sausage, so I'm gonna cook it the same way that I make any kind of like beef a turkey or something like that olive oil an onion and then minced garlic of course it's a big teaspoon i'm adding my sausage now tyron took two out because he made two without the pasta i'm making three with the pasta there we go taking it out it's not really chopping well it's very soft all right adding all my seasoning the usuals onion Garlic, oregano, Old Bay, Cajun, pepper. Sausage and peppers are almost done. Pasta is done. Should I make a creamy pasta? Or should I do it with just like a marinara sauce? I don't know if it would even be good like that, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it how I know it'll be good. I'm gonna just add in pasta sauce and not make a creamy pasta, because I know it'll be good like this. I had I initially put like my half and half out to make like a creamy pasta, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I am gonna add my cheese in though. Dinner is served. Tell me that doesn't look so good. Yum. Love a lazy dinner. All right, it's been a while. I wanted to sit down and kind of just talk about this year and do a little recap for the year. I. I scratched my head and it's sort of bleeding a little. I don't I don't know what it is. Um, I have a little mineral water here. And I just wanted to like sit and chat for a little bit about my 2023 before we go into like 2024 and talking about the new year. I feel like it's really important to recap on the previous anything really. Um, just to talk about how things went and how I felt and what stood out, what I liked, what I didn't like. I feel like that's really important just in general. I remember when I was in high school, I remember my history teacher, something along the lines of, basically he was saying we teach history so we know what not to do in the future. If there was a war, if there was like something way back when, it's to talk about it, what happened, what started it, and change so you know the mistakes to not make again. I feel like that's important, but as well as looking at the past and seeing the good and seeing what felt good, um, like to add to that, to know what to bring with you into the future. So wanted to kind of just like sit here and chat about it. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a little chat, recap the year a little bit. If you haven't been with me this entire year, then maybe some things will be new to you. A quick little recap to catch you up on my life up until this point, or just the, this year, I should say. I feel like I need a little, little chapstick though. I've been obsessed with the Summer Fridays lip butter, guys. 
I just got on the train. I'm always late to every trend, so I just don't like to spend money on myself, like for products and stuff, that's why. Oh my God, look at that. Slice. All right, so it's so weird. So January, I started the year off. I had just moved to Florida. I am about 15 minutes right now from where I was when I started this year. So I feel like January, I started with like very weird mixed feelings. So my birthday is actually in January. It is on the 17th. I will film a vlog this year. Last year, I did try to film a vlog. I spent the day with um, my best friend, Holly. We went to lunch and it was so fun. And then we did, Tyron and I did dinner um, at a place in West Palm. I remember like the day, cause I feel like birthdays and New Year's combined, if you're a January baby, it's like so much pressure on you to like start the year off strong, to start your birthday off strong, have the best birthday. And it's like right at the beginning of the year. So it's like hopes are high, like everything's high. I did cry on my birthday, didn't vlog that, but I did cry on my birthday. And I just went into the new year with a lot of emotion and it was a lot of things that were weighing me down in my personal life. I remember I was kind of just like living a day to day here. Like I was going to work all the time, coming home from work, trying to make meals at home. It was just a very like bland month. I remember like it just was rough in the emotions department and I didn't really do anything. I was going to therapy. Uh, when I was going to therapy, I was going to therapy and that was like kind of nice. I only went twice that month because I was going every two weeks. And then same thing with February. Like it was just another bland like month. I was dealing with a lot of things in the personal life that were really weighing me down. Low start to the year, low and slow. That's like, I feel like how I'm going to say it, low and slow. I feel like the start to this year is so high compared to the start to last year. And I was just working all the time. Like I really was like not happy with my work. I hated the job I was doing. Never thought actually that I would end the year where I am now but this is how you know, you never know. <laughs> I just like wasn't happy with what I was doing and it made me really sad all the time. I was like working my ass off. I was exhausted all the time. You could see it the way I look now, like look at me. And I'm gonna, I'll probably include some clips along here if I haven't already of just like what I looked like then. Like I, oh, my memory card just filled up. And then the end of February came, beginning of March, I went home. I feel like I hit the reset button in like March, <laughs> like when I went home. I was feeling so anxious. Again, I had a lot of personal life things going on, but I spent time with my mom. I saw my family, which was so nice. And my best friend, I met her baby. And it was just so nice to spend time with people I love, people that feel close to me. Um, because when you live away from home, because I was in Florida at the start of the year, and then I went home to Rhode Island, it was really hard to be away from home. It was really nice to like go home, see family, spend time together. We had so many laughs, like we just hung out and that's what I did for like five days. And I feel like that's when I hit the reset button because also at that time we decided where we were going for the summer. So I work in hospitality seasonally. If you're new here, I travel with the summer and the winter. So in the summer, I'm up north somewhere. I'm somewhere where it's busy during the summertime. And then in the winter, I go down south. That's what I've been doing now for about two years. Holy shit, that's crazy. It'll be almost two years. That's wild. So last year I was in Arizona for the summer. This past year I was in Newport, Rhode Island. So this is when I announced to like YouTube and my family like, hey, guess what? I'm moving to Newport, Rhode Island. So it's like, it's happening. Like it was so exciting because I'm from Rhode Island and from about an hour from Newport. So it was like so exciting to share that with my family, to share it with friends and YouTube because it like Rhode Island makes me really happy. So that's when things started to slowly like look up for me, I feel like this year. And I really remember my spirits feeling so lifted and it really makes a difference. Like who you're surrounded by every day, the type of work you do, your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Like you think these things don't matter that much. You think a lot of times it's you all the time. It's you, your own head. Like you have to constantly fix yourself, which is true. I feel like a lot of times we do need to fix ourselves, but you also can't control how other people are around you all the time. All of the outside things, but you can control what you let into your life. So I think that like thing that like I really learned this year. Okay, I'm getting off track. Hold on, let me go back. So it's like April time and we're like, all right, we're going, we're going up north. We love New England, like New England summer, here we go. So we're really just soaking up 
Florida because when you move, I feel like you always remember the things you enjoyed when you left. So we were enjoying all of our favorite restaurants in West Palm and Palm Beach Gardens and spending so much time with Holly because her and I were gonna have to say goodbye to each other. It was very emotional, our goodbye. We were both crying and I haven't seen her in like since May and it's January, which is wild to say, that is nuts. It was really nice I remember like that excitement of like something new that you knew was gonna be good. Sometimes you just know when you're making a decision it's the right move. Sometimes you don't know. But I feel like just because we lived in Rhode Island before and I'm from Rhode Island, like we knew all the good things that were gonna come with it. So we were had this like little excitement energy. So we were really enjoying our time in Florida, soaking it up, and then May came. May was like glow up month. It's like, let's go, we're doing all the things. Beginning of May, boom, started off with Disney. Three pack days in Disney. That was so fun. That's I, I haven't been since and I miss it so much. I love Disney. Those vlogs didn't get a lot of views, which I'm shocked about because I was thinking that like everybody would like Disney. I guess not everybody likes Disney, but I love Disney. So I was like, oh, everybody's gonna enjoy like watching this. Like I love watching Disney vlogs. I don't know, I'll post them again at some point in the future when I go back to Disney, but I took time to Disney for the first time. And it was so special because I love Disney. I grew up with a single mom and my mom brought me to Disney for the first time when I was eight years old. It was the first trip that she could afford to take me on. I remember I like cried when I saw the castle for the first time <laughs> and I was crying because I was like, I was eight years old and I was like, oh my God, we're never gonna come back here again because like I knew we didn't have a lot of money. It was like so magical. Like when you're so little, it's so magical. Um, even as an adult, okay, it's magical to me still. So, so I got to take Tyron there and it was so fun. We went to Epcot, we rode all the rides, we drank around the world. We had a lot to drink that day. We rode all the rides and it was like a bunch of running around. The Magic Kingdom, which was really fun, of course. So many fun rides in Magic Kingdom, Tron and like Pirates of the Caribbean, Small World, and then Animal Kingdom, we loved Animal Kingdom. We did the safari, which is so fun, and we rode Everest, which we love Everest, and Avatar, uh, and it was just so much fun. So that was like a great way to start May. I remember it was like, boom, right off the bat, you're going on a Disney trip, and then it was back, pack the apartment. So we packed up the entire apartment. It was really bittersweet because as much as we were like so excited to leave, it was also, our first apartment together and it was the first apartment I've ever had on my own as we had together that was just our own and it was so special because honestly at the time like we were living in an apartment that was too expensive for us because we were living a bit above our means like our income is actually like fairly decent but a lot of our money was going to bills it wasn't enough money to like comfortably live it, the money was good but i had a bunch of debt that i still have that we'll talk about at some point <laughs> in the incoming vlogs i'm gonna get into my debt journey we will talk all about my debt but i have this like mound of debt under me so if i wasn't paying rent i was trying to pay off debt and not everything you see is picture perfect it just it is what it is sometimes like sometimes you can't control it sometimes it just happens and then you, then you have to like change your game plan which is what we did and then we got on a train and we took all of our shit, we sold all our furniture, then we got on a train and moved to Rhode Island for the summer. We got off the train in DC and then drove right to Rhode Island. I remember it was so surreal driving myself through the roads that I'm so familiar with. Like Rhode Island is like, it's my home. So I know all the highways, I know all the exit signs, I know where everything leads. And it was so surreal because I'm like, how am I like, about to spend all this time here like i could not believe it and then june came around and we hit the ground running on goals like i was going to yoga every day i found a yoga studio found it on tiktok actually mend changed my life really like my yoga experience was so fun, beautiful, it was hot yoga, it was vinyasa, I started Pilates for the first time. You guys know, every day I was vlogging, I was going to yoga, I was going to the Nitro Bar, which is my favorite coffee shop in the world. Every day was like that, and it was so fun. The New England sun was out, like, and we had seasons, I could breathe fresh air because it wasn't humid every day. It was just so fun, and June was really fun. Then July came, I feel like I hit a little lull in July, I started Akatar actually, which this what started me on my fantasy book kick. 
one of my favorite series I've ever read, one of my favorite books I've ever read. It got me on my fantasy kick and it is so good. So I started that and at the same time as all this is happening, like I'm going to yoga, I'm going to the beach, I'm seeing family, I'm seeing friends. And it was so nice. However, in the back of my head, I still had my money stress. So as much as it was so fun and I made the most of it, I had this money stress because when I went up north, we were making the decision based on being near my family and like just it's how it worked out. I had all this money stress. I had this debt under me and I took a pay cut when I went up there. Big pay cut. Like I, I it was this is the least amount of money I've ever made since ever actually. So as much as I was having so much fun with my work-life balance, my financial stuff was stressing me out so much all summer, but I feel like I did so good at soaking up the summer. It really was like the highlight of my 2023, 110 billion percent. Even though I wasn't making money, I was doing yoga, I was at the beach, I was spending so much time with my mom, which was so special because I hadn't been near her in a year and a half. It was so good being back home. Restaurants, we went to all the bars, we had so much fun, we explored all of Newport. I just love New England. I enjoy the community. I enjoy the local businesses. I love, love it. I reunited with so many people this summer. I saw my best friend and her baby. I saw old coworkers that I used to work with and it was such a good summer. It was such a good summer. August and September came along and it was like, okay, summer's winding down. The weather's kind of getting chilly. Still doing my yoga, still doing the usual. And then before you know it, October comes and it is time to move to Florida. <laughs> It's crazy. I feel like the year flew by really. I measure my year and season. So it was like the winter season in Florida and then the summer season, which is only like four months and then the winter season again. So it was very, very quick, very, very quick. I didn't do much traveling this year. I didn't really do much in general. It's very like lay low year, but I did, I feel like there were so many pros, but also a lot of cons in the background that I didn't share all the time in the vlogs. October came, said goodbye to my family, said goodbye to my mom. And we packed up the cars once again, got on the train once again, and brought our asses right back down to Florida. And I said, at the beginning of this year, I really did not think I would be here again, but here I am. It's not in the books, but it's okay, here we are. I didn't, I really didn't plan it, but I wasn't like fully against it, I don't know. But this winter, I accepted a position at my work that is a little different from what I've been doing. I said that, I kind of do like a mix of like admin registration type things. Did I say registration? I meant reservations. October's here, we're on the train. Right when we get here, we were told our housing wasn't gonna be ready in time. They still needed the keys. They had to do some checks. We got here really early. They even said the housing might not be ready, so be prepared. We didn't end up getting our apartment. We were supposed to get it like the day or two after we arrived. And then, so we stayed in a hotel. We had a little mini staycation. And then the apartment flooded. The original apartment we were supposed to be in flooded. So we spent five days in an Airbnb. It was a beautiful Airbnb. We rested, we relaxed, Tyron got sick. So we really didn't go anywhere. When we finally moved into our apartment, we were living with five of us this winter, which is so many. We live in a three bedroom apartment and we just got settled into the new place. We started work again in October. I feel like November was very chill. I feel like in November, I spent a lot of time at the pool. The weather was so nice. I had a lot of books this year, Throne of Glass. Oh, my favorite book series in the whole world ever, forever and ever. And then December came and it was like festive holiday season. I did all my stockings and I wrapped all my gifts and it was just very chill, very chill Vlogmas. I don't know if I'll do Vlogmas yet next year, we'll see. But that was 2023 for me. So like I said, there were so many highs. I feel like it was just a, it was a very consistent year, I feel like. I was pretty consistent with my day to day. I was like off goals and then I was on the goals over the summer and then I fell off again and now we're getting back on them again. Um, and on just how we want our day to day lifestyle to go. Yeah. So I feel like going into the new year, you'll see for my goals, when I talk about goals, a lot of my new year's goals has to do with like finances and fixing my finances and we'll talk all about it. But that was my 2023. So thank you all for being here for it. I know you are seeing this in the beginning of January, but I still wanted to share. I still wanted to talk about it a little bit. So thank you for just being here and supporting me and to start running this year and so many things. We'll talk about it in the goals video, but uh, I really appreciate you all, so thank you. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like it's pretty long after this recap, so yeah, I hope you have a great new year. I hope you accomplish all the goals this coming year, and I just hope you enjoy it. I feel like it's gonna be a good one, hopefully for all of us, so I hope you all enjoy it, and I love you, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>